Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, Monday through Thursday. Now, you know that I'm going to use my Radley Valentine decks for this main reading, I will, which this is not. This is just the introduction. I will post the timestamp in the um, description so you can just bypass this, but I hope I have a little, I, I hope that I'm telling you some good stuff as we do the introduction. Anyway, I will use for the main readings my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot Cards, my Guardian Angel Tarot Cards, and then I will pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now, for the introduction, I will do kind of a universal reading using my Weight Rider Traditional Tarot and my Colette Baron read the good tarot okay i have prayed meditated and infused all the decks with reiki energy but remember this is a general reading it may or may not resonate take what you like leave the rest so we have um mercury going direct it, today is the third so it will be going direct on the fourth and it is still in taurus it gets to be about oh my goodness um when does it go into gemini right before the full moon, I think, so just hold off on that a little bit. And then we also have Saturn going retro. I have been posting things on my community page, also Facebook and Instagram. So um, while there's not a whole lot of trining, squaring, and conjuncting at this moment that I that's really, really standing out, the planets are getting into an alignment. And on June 24th, they're going to all be in an alignment, including the moon. It's, it's just going to be very strong, very big energy. We are also, I, like I said, I've been, I have been giving more information about these things, the alignments, and just what's going on energetically in my community page. So start to watch that a little bit more, or Facebook or Instagram too. So I'm trying to share information. The um, interesting stuff, as those planets get in alignment, and one of the things I posted today was about, um, you know, the old gods were coming together. So not to say that, that I, you know, your spiritual beliefs are your spiritual beliefs, but I just think that that's very um, telling about, you know, that's just very telling. And it's just interesting. And um, I've told you that these, these planets... They've been getting very close to each other, one degree, five degrees. And to me, it's kind of like they're all talking and just kind of watching and, and just waiting. And I think that we have been feeling that way, too, watching and waiting. The Schumann Resonance, which is I've been trying to post a little more about that. Please, I don't, you know, I will give you the information that I can find it, but you can find out a lot of things on in, on the internet through your search engines too. There are a lot of groups out there on Facebook and I think even Instagram that might give you some information on it too. But it's, um, you know, it is very energetically changing to our DNA supposedly, to our mind waves supposedly. Um, and yet, and there's a lot of science to this. So it's not this, you know, it's not a pseudoscience. It is an actual science that um, has been around for many, many years. And it has been getting more and more interesting. Shout out to Jane Average because she's the, she is into EEGs. And she said, yep, makes sense to me. So I just, I'm like, oh my gosh, it, it, yes, I can see the correlation with it. So it is talking about the energies that we're having right now. And we're all feeling like we're on the precipice, that we're moving forward, but yet not moving fast enough. And when are we going to fall? Who's going to be catching us? So we all feel that going on um, stronger and stronger and stronger. It's just like something's got to give. And you know, when we see those really big white spikes or those white blocks, you know, that there's a lot of um, electrical energy just coming down and it's it's um yeah it be receptive be receptive it's not a negative energy it's you know it does feel very positive it is the white light type of energy so be receptive it is changing many many people um from that three-dimensional thinking to that fourth dimensional thinking or experiencing or frequency to that fifth dimensional um frequency and you know, I'm always saying that we are here 
for a reason. And you are gathering with me for a reason. We are all light workers, spirit workers, indigo children, um, crystal children, depending on your age. I'm part of the old star seed uh, program. So, <laughs> so, you know, we're all being called. And remember, being spiritual, I know I'm jumping, but being spiritual um, does not mean that we hide away. In fact, it, it being the more spiritual we are, the more we are put into uncomfortable positions. So just, you know, hey, I'm on YouTube, so it's not always easy with that. So we are being called to do that. We are here to um, support each other. We are here to encourage each other, too, because, you know, when you're the light um, or when you are of the light, darkness tries to extinguish you. So hold on to that. Hold on to that. Now, I do think I said that I prayed, meditated, and infuse the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general. These are all general readings, so take what you like, leave the rest. It may or may not resonate with you. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to God, Holy Spirit, higher power, who, whatever, whoever that is. You know, I, you know, every day, um, you know, I say, I say, I try to say, I am a child of the one true God, and let that come through. And um, source. Whoever, I'm not here to change your religion or your politics, okay? In fact, we don't, that's not what this whole thing is all about. Because I do believe that you, we, me, were placed in our places so that we can, um, we can make changes. Some changes may be big, some may be small, some may seem to be small, okay? Now... I do want to want you to recall that from 2008 on until what 224 Pluto has been in Capricorn it is now retro but Pluto is the you know is the planet of destruction death destruction but then also rebirth Capricorn is the builder is the one that wants to get things back on track so if you've been a Capricorn shout out to Maria on that you have been through a lot of and I'm not laughing at you Maria you know I love you but you have been through a lot of death and destruction in your life okay and Capricorns you have seen things die to only be reborn and I think that we are now towards that rebirthing part Think of the phoenix. And I'm not talking about physical death as much as I'm talking about um, death to ego, death to self, death to um, relationships. But I do feel for my for a lot of us, especially my cappies, we're in that rebuilding phase. So yeah, let's 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 put that out there too. Okay, let's see what we have. We are in Gemini season. Um, Crystal, I will be contacting you, I promise. Um, hopefully if not today or tomorrow by Sunday. Okay, so just, just I have not forgotten you. You are on my mind. I do keep a prayer list, and I do pray for many people who ask for prayer. So just putting that out there, too. So let's see what our weight rider has to say right now. So I try to make it short today, and I'm not, but <laughs> let's see what we've got. Okay, higher power, what do we have to look forward to? Remember, 6-6, six, six, many, many people are talking about that as a spiritual um, portal. You know, because it is 6-6, six, six, it is the number of man. Remember, use the positive spin on the numbers. You know, claim the positive spin. It is the effort we put into something. So it's June 6th. 2022. Two, two. So 222 two, two equals up 6. So it is a 666 six, six number, 666 six, six portal. So um, again, put out, you know, send your light out. Send your light out as we go through this. Okay, I think that I might have uh, gotten my camera in a good place. So let's see what higher power has to say. Universal energy for this week. The world. The world. Now, reversed cards to me are very strong energies, very strong, and we need to pay attention to them. So we have numbers. We, like I said, we do need to pay attention to numbers. We have a 21. So we have a 10, 10, 1. So there's the 10 energy there, which is transitional energy. We have the 1, which is new beginning energy. 0 of the 10 is God's source energy. So 2, 2, 1. Um, I'm sorry, 2-1, two, 2 is also choices, decisions, coupling, where do I go from here? 
we can add the two plus we can add it all up it becomes a three three is um, the power of three it is creativity it is also um, celebration but we have the world energy here we have all the energies of um, you know we have our air energy Gemini Aquarius Libra thought processes making plans hearing news we have our fire energy Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, remember Jupiter's in Aries, so that's very positive. Mars is also in Aries, so that's really strong, going after what you want energy. Um, so it's passionate, burning, determined, very committed. We have our water energy, Cancer, which is right around the corner, Scorpio and Pisces. Neptune's still in Pisces, so it's not as strong, but it is a comforting energy. Scorpio, South Node, we just had the full, um, the full moon in Scorpio, so, you know, secrets, secrets revealed. Um, you know, also, um, the Scor Scorpio also brings about that phoenix energy. So that is fluid, emotional, and it's very, um, very deeply caring and deeply spiritual. And we have our earth energy, Taurus. Okay, so, um, what do we have? Mercury's in Taurus right now. Uranus is in Taurus right now. Um, it's also Capricorn. I just talked about Capricorn. It is also Virgo. Virgo's kind of taking it easy right now. It's Earth energy. These are Earth energies where that is about your money, your job, your career. Could be even new careers coming or new um, ways to make your money. It's also your home energy. So the world is really all about things are wrapping up. Things are going to get easier. Everybody is doing the job that they are assigned to do. Now, I am going on a more of a spiritual thing with this, but the, the world itself is like, let's wrap this up, wrap it up. Good job. You have held on. You have held on. Keep holding on because things are now about to change. Things are now about to move forward. Okay? Because the world, like I said, is, um, you know, is totally about, you know, this is the uh, major arcana. This is the fool's journey. And the fool has come to the place where the, he is totally enlightened. He, he knows what he knows what he knows. Um, he still has that faith energy that, you know, you know, uh, you know, I know what I know, but I know what I don't know. Or, I, I, you know, I know that I don't know. So there's that total, um, there's, there's a completion set with the world. But the world is also saying, you've, got, you, you've done what you need to do. Time to rest a little bit. But... Get ready for the next cycle. Get ready to um, get ready to share what you know. Okay. So next card is we have a four of pentacles. Now pentacles is that earth energy: Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Four has stability to it. Four has um, leadership, has organization to it. There, you know, the four of pentacles you know has to do with your money your job your career now we're at a time that doesn't necessarily feel very settled very secure but yet in some strange way the four of pentacles comes and says it does say watch your money but it does not say that all the money is going to fall apart or that all you know that things are going that you're going to lose your money there is a guarding of money. There is a watching of money. There is a money energy with the Four of Pentacles, you know, or job. But it's not necessarily a, um, like, everything falls apart with the money, okay? Which is odd because, you know, we're in some strange times right now. So let's see what we've got over here. Next card is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is new money. This is new, jo new jobs, new money. So we have that Pentacle energy again. Now, I really do, you know, the people that follow along that, um, you know, they they do this too. You know, you bring me so much good insights. Um, Pentacles again, money, job, career, ace, one, new beginning, new beginning again. So there is, you know, this is kind of an exciting time. This could be a very exciting time where, um, you know, where as things feel like they're very uncertain with money, that this is, could be a time where there's a lot of creativity and new money can be made. New money can be found. Okay? This is also a very lucky energy. Um, lucky energy and, again, lucky money energy here. So, 
let me know let me know you know and many times over and i know i tell you we are of the light we need to encourage each other and many times over i'm like oh what am i going to be seeing what am i going to be seeing i ask higher power what's going to be here and then it's like oh look at that look at that nice nice energies with this week okay let's see what we have here but something's this is coming now to me too something is definitely completed something is definitely completed I don't know. Does it have something to do with money? It could definitely be that. Something is definitely completed. Um, an age, an age, an era is over. Okay? So let's see. Let's see what else we might have here. Let's go with the Colette Baron Reed. <laughs> the good tarot. Well, Colette, one day I will remember your full name. Let's see where we go here. Higher power. What? <laughs> This is, you know, what what does this all mean? Can you add, well, please add to it. Not can you, because of course, can. But would you please add to this? Okay, let's go on. Here we go. Oh, okay, now, this is reversed again. All right, so this is interesting here. Here, this is very, you know, okay, I like this energy up here. The Ten of Fire, Ten, transitional energy once again, moving forward once again. Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, once, you know, that's, and again, Jupiter, Aries. The Ten of Fire is a struggle. The Ten of Fire does not make things easy. So whatever this is going on, it may not appear to be easy for us at this time. If the universe is, is saying, um, don't be complacent, don't just be accepting, um, you know, there is, you know, it's also the ten, of, the ten of Wands Rods is also keeping, kind of this keeping what you have going. She's juggling. She's juggling all these flying things. And yet, in some ways, she's making it look very um, effortless, like she's just kind of floating them along. But, uh, you know, but you have to understand that just, you know, if you're, if you're taking these things that are on fire and you're wearing a dress such as she's wearing anything you know if she stops even for a moment things could collapse okay so there's something with the ten of fire that is kind of saying that even though this is happening it may appear like we still have this struggle going on um you know we still have to maintain our we have to maintain in order to keep what we have going it's kind of like the ten of fire ten of rods are are like, you know, we've worked really, really hard to get where we're at, and now the Ten of Fire is saying, yeah, you got to keep working hard to just stay where you're at, which kind of go that goes along more with where we're at right now in the world. However, we've got this lovely um, pentacle energy, and we've got this world energy. So, so there's something more going on than possibly what we see in the natural, so the supernatural, the universe, higher power, says things are in a much better place, but we, ourselves, it, there is still the struggle, okay? So, well, I need to pull another card on this one because I want some hope. I want more. Uh, yes, we have all been struggling. We've all been struggling. What, what else can you give us? Oh, my goodness. What else? One more time. Well, this one just flipped. Well, okay, and this one wants to come out too. So we have the good old magician. The magician, again, a number one. So we've got a lot of that one energy going on here. But the magician is, again, connect with your higher power. This is the first step on the fool's journey. This is the first person, first entity, first angel um, presence, universal presence that the fool meets. And the um, magician says, hey, you know what? You, you know, you've got to trust. You've, and yet, at the same time, you have what you need as above so below okay so we have so this is major arcana energy and then this one wanted to come out ace of fire ace of fire so we have that one energy again and that is all about a new passion a new start new beginnings so even though there may be a struggle, we need to make sure that we're connecting with higher power. We're connecting with whoever that is. I say God, source, energy, Holy Spirit. And, you know, we ask for that new passion. We ask for that, that sense of wonder, that sense of things are going to be better energy. Okay? Okay. 
I know. We'll, we'll keep we'll keep uh, pulling until we get the cards we want. Anyway, no, we won't. This is it. But my, you know, but please, 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 please. I have so many of you that you know that that can that interpret this also for me. I would love to hear what you think about all of this. Um, take a moment, please, to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Um, I will be starting the videos for your signs now.